Hello class, in this video we are going to talk about freezing point depression and we are going to talk about freezing point depression as a means or as a tool to adjust tonicity. Now the reason that is, is possible is because freezing point depression itself is a, is a colligative property. Now what that means is the freezing point depression depends on the amount or concentration of solute and the quantity of solvent that you have in your solution. Now this is important because whenever we talk about whenever we talk about an isotonic solution, we are talking about something that has the same osmotic pressure as body fluids. Now osmotic pressure itself is a colligative property. So because osmotic pressure and freezing point depression are both colligative properties any change in either one of them can be monitored using the other and that's how come this approach works so the best way i could do this is to illustrate this method using an example and as you go through the example i will try and stress all the key things that you should know and and elaborate on the steps that you need to take so that you get your answer all the time correctly all the time okay in this example, we have propane hydrochloride with a freezing point of negative 0.122 degrees Celsius. It's important for me to stress this is the freezing point and not the freezing point depression. The freezing point depression is going to be 0 minus that number and it's going to be 0 0.122 degrees Celsius for propane hydrochloride. It's also important to know that these freezing point depression are given in tables. And you can find these in references like Remington's and other um, useful texts as well. And these values are given for 1% weight by volume of your drug. And so anytime you have a situation where your weight concentration is different from 1, you need to factor that in computing your freezing point depression, which I call the first step in solving this kind of problems. So in this example where we have 2%, it's going to be two. Um, it's going to be twice what the freezing point depression will be for one percent. So let's look at the question. The question requires us to determine how many milligrams of sodium chloride will make this solution isotonic. So for step one, we're going to determine the freezing point depression, and this is how we are going to capture it. Since the freezing point depression for one percent is zero point one two two, like I mentioned. If you have 2%, it's going to be twice that value. So 0 0.122 degrees Celsius times 2, and that gives you 0 0.244. Now what this means then is 0 0.244 differs quite a bit from 0 0.52, which is the freezing point depression for some a solution that is isotonic. And so we need to find a way to increase the solute content using sodium chloride to make this hypotonic isotonic so basically we're going to add enough solute of sodium chloride to really reduce this freezing point depression by an additional amount to 0 0.5 degrees step two we need to determine how much more the freezing point or the formulation should be lowered so that this solution becomes isotonic and that would simply be subtracting the value that we got in step one from 0 0.5 to which is a freezing point depression of body fluids or or, or some a solution that is isotonic and that gives us a value of 0 0.296 in step three we need to calculate the percentage of sodium chloride that would allow us to further reduce the freezing point depression of our solution by 0 0.2 296. Now since 0 0.9 sodium chloride solution is isotonic, it means its freezing point depression will be 0 0.9, 0 0.52. And so we can set up a proportion where 0.9% will be divided by 0 0.52 and that should be equal to some percentage of sodium chloride divided by 0 0.296 which is by how much more we need to decrease the freezing point 
So once we solve for our variable, we can multiply both sides by 2.296 and that gives us a value of 0.51%. So this tells us that if we dissolve 0.51 grams in 100 ml of this solution, we would end up having an isotonic solution. However, our preparation has a different volume. So we need to adjust this number to the volume of our formulation. So we determine the amount of sodium chloride required for 30 ml of the formulation that we have. And how that works is we're going to have 0.51 grams in 100 ml and that should be equal to some quantity divided by the 30 ml which is the total volume of our preparation. Now once we've done that we can solve for x which is our unknown. And that gives us a value of 0 0.15 grams, which is the same as 150 milligrams. So there you go. That's how you go about using the freezing point depression as a means to adjust tonicity. The key things are always to know what the freezing point depression is for your preparation by how much more you need to reduce that freezing point depression so it becomes 0 0.5 to and then if you're using sodium chloride you calculate the percentage that you need and adjust it to the volume or the total volume of your preparation so if you have any questions just send me an email to mdanko at csu.edu m d a n Q-U-A-H at CSU.edu.